Hello, yes, I'm finally doing another one of these, a uh, little commentary for one of my speed draw videos. Um, these videos, uh, for those who don't know, were originally uploaded to my Vimeo channel, um, and I, I've not put up anything on there for a long time. But um, I've just had a look at them and I thought, yeah, I should, I, maybe I should talk about them, just reminisce. Um, so that's what I've been doing, and uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I, I kind of got busy with a lot of other things, um, but I always had the intention of uh, getting back uh, into these. So yeah, uh, th these are the Greenwood Bats, that's what you're seeing me draw right now. Uh, named after um, Colin and Johnny Greenwood from Radiohead. Um, and I think, cause, uh, yeah, I was, I was listening to a lot of Radiohead and other bands at the time, and that became a thing that I would usually think about when I was sort of deciding on what kind of personality my characters would have. Um, and I, I just thought, what kind of music do I imagine they would listen to? Um, I think the thing about the Greenwood Bats, obviously uh, Radiohead was kind of the influence behind the name. Because um, I, I thought it seemed quite clever that they, they, they kind of lived in the woods, so maybe that was like um, the green wood in which they lived. So there's sort of a double meaning to it. But also, I imagine them listening to th stuff like um, Joy Division and Echo and the Bunny Men, just anything just sort of dark and morose. Um, and, yeah... Uh, that, that was definitely a phase, because this was, what, um, it, it, it can't have been much more than five or six years ago, um, it's just still a fairly long time, I suppose, yeah, uh, and I, um, I actually did, I, there, there is a, an animated cartoon with these guys that I did, um, and I, I was, I, I put them in quite a lot of, a lot of comics, um, and I, I was I was always really trying hard to to make it like the the, the, whole, the whole thing about them really is they they they're just not very happy or the, or at least they don't come across as particularly happy characters and that kind of um, bled into a lot of the the other characters' personalities I've that I've done since like. Tracy is almost exactly the same. She just has that same expression on her face. It's just like a duplicate of the. You know, um, so yeah, it, it, it's. Um, I suppose it wasn't meant to be like a running joke. I just. I suppose it gave me less work to do. That I would just use these same pictures repeatedly, and and just like adjust the mouth and the eyes. That was pretty much the extent that that was how dynamic these characters would be so not just um the these these bats um as i say tracy um caroline she's, she's another character i did that she she started out as, as a very sort of um moody character um and i think i I kind of got tired of that. I just thought, you know, I'm, I'm gonna have to make things. A, I, I wanted to. I, I sort of thought I'll make an attempt at least to go a different direction. So anyway, um, I, I I think that's about the the hardest I'm working for this comic. It's in the star background, the, like the night sky, um, and uh, that, that that's a little bit of a a task but then once you've got it done you can just again you can just reuse it um so this was the type of thing that i as i was trying to do this as a, a series yeah i a, a lot of the times i was just seeing how many corners i could cut how um how easy it would be to get away with uh doing less work for each comic um because i think the 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 defense I always had was, you know, I I am doing a bit of creation, you know, I am designing these characters, um, 
and I'm, I'm doing a different one. Like with with each episode, I would uh, focus in on different characters. So yeah, um, it was still kind of lazy, but I think I, yeah, the, this was always a nice little challenge coming up with something for Eugene because I'm I'm drawing him last because then I just I I would um, think right he's going to be kind of giving you an idea of what kind of tone um, this episode has. So yeah, I'll probably do something like that. Um, I, I, I don't know what I, what, what did I draw? Like, he was just sort of frowning. That was, I, I think at this point I'm, I'm, I'm just making it all up as I go along. I, I didn't really know what to do. This, this was like, cause I, I I would, I would always try and try my best to eat. like even when I had kind of writer's block, I'd always make an attempt to just get it done and just you know, even if there was nothing there. <laughs> so a lot of the Beluga Weeklies are, are completely absent of any kind of humour because the whole thing was really just oh yeah now I at this point I had an idea I thought I'll make him look kind of evil and. I think I gave him a needle because he's like a doctor. Uh, he, he's about to um, take a, a blood sample. I don't know why he needed to look psychotic as such. Just that the image of a needle, like, like the kind of it, 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 it sort of demands for a, a slightly evil Eugene. Because this was back when Eugene wasn't really a character. He was more of just... Because he was the mascot. He still is. He still is a mascot for Beluga Toons. Um, and, yeah. Uh, the thing is, I, I would just change him. Each week he'd be doing something different. And it would almost be a different character. So, um, it, was, it was never meant to be consistent. Later on, um, he sort of became his own character. Uh I've even thought, like, because I haven't, like, I've, I've toyed with the idea of uh, giving him his own comic book series or web comic, um, which I might do. I'm, I'm still weighing my options uh, for what's what's going to be the successor to Beluga Weekly. Uh, who knows? Um, but yeah, this is an example of how I would really just be messing about. It was mostly just kind of, I suppose, almost like filler, because I, I I just felt like I need to do something. So yeah, I I gave it my best shot. I don't, I don't think this is this is meant to be like a joke about blood doning, because it works so well for um, Tony Hancock. <laughs> it did, you know. That's a famous sketch. If you haven't seen it, look it up. The blood donor sketch, um, but <laughs> that might have just been it. I just might have just kind of associated giving blood with comedy. I thought if if I put that in this, it would be hilarious somehow. <laughs> I don't know. It's just yeah. Um, what was quite interesting about using that star background? I made it quite big so that I could move the stars around and give the impression that I was being less lazy with the with the uh, design. So the stars um, are not all in exactly the same place, literally just so I could make it look like I'd redrawn them, <laughs> which I hadn't actually. <laughs> just, we were just looking at a different part. I think that was my intention. It's quite hard to remember. This was quite a long time ago. Um, yeah, uh, still at it. I'm still... <laughs> And each individual panel, um, there was really not a lot of work to go into this one. I don't know what Johnny's. I'm, I'm pretty sure Johnny. Yeah, you know, I sh I should know this. Uh, yeah, Johnny's the uh, long one. And the to Colin's the kind of squashed. But I, I I kind of draw the noses slightly differently. So there we are. I've, I think I've I've done all of those. So there I'm just uh, doing the last few finishing... Oh, am I? Oh, yeah, the, the moon. It's continuity. I, I still cared about continuity, even though the star background is a, it does move about. Okay, so there we go. Uh, I'm just finishing off now. 
yeah, um, it wasn't my best, but I'm still glad that I put something together for that week. Um, now I, have, I haven't done these commentaries for, as I say, for quite a while. So, uh, what do I usually do at this point? Well, um, I actually don't know how much longer I'm gonna. <laughs> Uh, okay, am I done? Yeah, I think I'm just exporting it now. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, please feel free to check out my other videos. Um, I've done Let's Play videos, I've done Let's Draw videos, uh, live streams, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, um, go check that out. Thanks for watching, and see you later.